This is episode 55. So how was your 2020? You know, it takes a lot to put everything into perspective, but I'm going to try in this episode. So this is my 2020 in review, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Welcome to the Calm Marketer Podcast. My name is Kenneth Fong, a digital marketer on a mission to help businesses thrive. I'll bring you on my marketing journey where you'll get to learn from my experiences as an INFP navigating an extroverted world and get actionable marketing tips for your business. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let's begin. So 2020 has been quite the year. I think for myself, and I could probably guess for you as well. I, before recording this, I sat down and tried to look at a higher level, all the good things, the bad things, and some of the ugly things that happened in 2020. And I can honestly tell you that most of the things that happened to me in 2020 were good. So I'm so grateful for experiencing the good in 2020. Uh, There were some bad things in 2020 as well, and I will get to those ugly bad things towards the end of the episode. But for the most part, I can honestly tell you that personally and professionally, 2020 was good. It was good for my business. It was good for uh, my loved ones as well. And... If I were to stop and think about what word I would describe 2020 as for me, I would probably choose the word focus. Because of the pandemic, we had to truly stay home physically, right? Stay home. And it really forced me to do things in a different way. It forced me to focus my energies in different areas. And before I tried to find solace, I tried to find answers outside. But this year, I found answers, I found solutions, I found new things to do from within me, from inside, from things that are close to me. So for example, um, I actually read a lot of books this year. Now, I'm not a huge book reader. I actually never read physical books, but this year I actually read quite a bit of books that I would have never thought I would have read. Um, I'm that type of person who judges books by their covers. Um, You know, I buy books and because, you know, I heard that they are good or someone told me to buy them. And so I used to buy, and I still buy books, um, but before I never really read the books. I just purchased them and put them on my bookshelf. But this year I actually took the time to read um, the books that, that I purchased. And I read between six to seven books uh, this year. Uh, they were all majority around marketing and Um, I'm more of an audiobook kind of person. So I, before the pandemic, I used to listen to tons and tons of audiobooks on Audible. So I have a little over 110 audiobooks. um, But this year I actually sat down and read. And it's great because it gives you a whole new perspective and a new way to understand the information that's put in the book. And it's pretty cool, honestly. I learned a lot of new marketing this year as well. So I uh, took a course um, in the spring around affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is more about trying to find different products out there that you can personally sell and profit out of. So I did that for about three to four months. And I basically found a product online and I ran an entire campaign around that particular product um, to help sell that product. And 
I think I broke even. I broke even. I might have even gotten a small profit out of it, which I am so happy and grateful for. I also uh, took another course called the One Funnel Away Challenge by ClickFunnels. And it's a 30-day challenge where they take you through the whole process of finding and creating your offer and promoting your offer for profit and to help other people out. And I completed that 30-day challenge and um, it was really great to have my own offer. Um, I have a book that I can sell. I have a course that I can sell now just through that One Funnel Away challenge. And going back to the books that I read, I read all of the ClickFunnel books. So Funnel Se uh, no, Traffic Secrets, Dot Com Secrets, and Expert Secrets. And um, for dot com secrets and expert secrets, I actually purchased them, you know, last two years ago, but I never actually sat down and read them. And I actually, you know, took the time to read them and so much value in those books. Um, so, you know, the last day of 2020, I can honestly tell you that I am a much smarter marketer today than I was on the first day of 2020. I did a lot more different, different marketing um, I learned so much from the different marketing books that I read from doing the different marketing tactics and strategies that I've never done before. And it's been good. It's this huge refocusing of what I do has, has been very oh, eye opening for me. And it really gives me a lot more hope that, there is more than one way to, to go about earning income and helping others online. And 2020 really opened the doors to understanding that you can become a very successful online marketer in more ways than one. And for 2021, I'm going to explore other ways that I can become a better marketer I'm going to explore other ways that I can help people become successful as well. Going to my business growth for Lead Tagger, my agency, uh, I was hoping, you know, in the beginning of 2020, I was hoping that I would become much more profitable with Lead Tagger, but I cannot complain because 2020 for my business has been pretty good. You know, um, we are pro more profitable than ever before. And all thanks to the work that we do, the service that we provide to our clients and the team, you know, I did hire a salesperson, um, towards the end of the summer, early fall, which really pivoted my business in a totally different way. And I'm so grateful for her. And it's been it's been definitely a, a maneuvering, a refocusing, a pivot for my business. You know, um, of course, that I wanted, did I expect my business to grow even bigger? Yes, right. Uh, but I'm happy with the way things are. And I'm okay with the growth that we had. And with that said, you know, 2020 did have their ugly parts to it as well. You know, um, there was some loss with extended family members due to the pandemic. And that's the very sucky part of 2020 is just the loss that, that my friends and family experienced. And there was a lot of pain for sure. There was a lot of pain and it truly just opens your eyes and really reminds you to love people that are close to you, love your friends and family, and make sure that you only put good out there and that you touch people in a positive way that makes people happy, leave people with an impression of increase, and be grateful for everyone, you know? And that really kind of hit home. Um, just be grateful for the people that are around you. Because, you know, you never know. 
you never know when when the day comes when they're not here. So, um, but with that said, 2020 has been very good to me and my business. And I'm so excited for 2021 with the new knowledge that I have, with the new experiences that I've had, the new options that I could take in 2021 are tremendous. And I'm so excited for what 2021 has to offer. And I think 2021 has to be all about action and just being a little bit uncomfortable with taking action with the knowledge that I have built out in 2020 and see where that turns out. So with that said, I hope you had a great 2020 and I will see you in 2021.